what's going on with Ronald Acuna's knee? Find out next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT and 5 on Monday, March 4th. I am Frank Sample, joined by Scott White, and let's talk about this Ronald Acuna news. He was scratched with knee soreness on Friday. He underwent an MRI, which showed irritation in his right meniscus, the same knee he had surgery on back in 2021. Acuna will fly to Los Angeles to get that knee examined by Dr. Neil Elitraj, the doctor who performed Acuna's ACL surgery. What happens now, Scott? Do we plan to... Hmm. Lower Ronald Acuna, obviously, we're still waiting on information. You know, yeah. if anyone was thinking about dropping, like, I don't think he's going below, like, the top three picks, but what are your thoughts? Well, we should know a lot more at this time tomorrow because they'll have seen Dr. Neil Elatrosh at that point. Um, but it, it is worth noting that the, the Braves have obviously done their own examination and they ruled it to be just irritation and even went as far as to say they expect them to be in their opening day lineup. In fact, as recently as Sunday, Alex Anthopoulos said he's highly confident he'll be ready for opening day. Um, and, and actually a key detail that emerged also just on Sunday from Braves beat writer Mark Bowman is that Dr. Neil Elitraj has seen the MRI results himself and basically agreed with the Braves assess assessment, but just for just as an abundance of caution, he's going to see Acuna in person. So that it seems like the most likely scenario and is obviously the uh, best case scenario when you're talking about a meniscus injury, if it's just inflamed or whatever, give him a couple weeks off and he should be good to go. And, you know, we'll probably look back on this whole episode it, it, and it'll seem like a distant memory, something we chuckle about as, as Acuna is going on to another MVP season. Uh, Dr. Jesse Morse on Twitter laid out the other three possible scenarios, two of which are still pretty favorable. Uh, if So if it isn't just inflammation for Acuna, it could be that he, uh, that there is minor damage to the meniscus, but not enough to require surgical intervention. He would just, he would need time off but it would be more like four to six weeks rather than a couple weeks, which would put him coming back at some point in April. The third scenario is that there is damage to the meniscus that does require surgery, but it's just kind of a cutting away of the damaged portion of the meniscus. And that would be actually the same timetable as the second, uh, second scenario, four to six weeks, Acuna probably coming back in, uh, in April. And, and that might be preferable to the damage, but treatment option, because if it's damaged and cut away the damage, then you know, it's been addressed and Acuna should be feeling good at that point, And we shouldn't have to revisit this at any point during the season. So those are pretty up, pretty favorable situations themselves, the four to six week, whether you're talking, uh, damage and treatment or damage and surgery. The horrible scenario is if there's so much damage to the meniscus that Acuna needs a full-blown meniscus repair because that puts him out four to six months Ooh. rather than weeks, which means maybe he could play half the season, but maybe not, and maybe even the whole season he ends up missing. And it's, it's possible. So that would obviously crush his ranking in fantasy, but, but it does seem like the least likely of the four scenarios based on what people who've actually seen the MRI results are saying, and the most likely Again, seems like no change at all ready for opening day. Again, we'll know a lot more tomorrow, and, and we can speak with a lot more confidence on the matter then. Uh, as things currently stand, I'm not adjusting Acuna's rankings. I think there's no reason for that. If it turns out to be the second or third scenario where there is damage, but a four to six weeks week timetable is missing part of April, then I'm still keeping Acuna as the number one player in fantasy. I might be adjusting down his auction value, his salary cap value to closer to $50 rather than $60 because, you know, just safeguarding from, from some of that time loss, some of that risk. Uh, but I, I still think if he's, if he's missing just an eighth of the season, basically, and, and he's more or less the player he was last year, um, then he's still going to blow everybody out in terms of his production. And so, uh, go ahead. So yeah, that's that's how I see this playing out. Obviously, if it's the worst case scenario, then you know, way down the rankings. Yeah, and, and there was an industry draft this weekend, the the Labor twelve team mixed auction where Ronald Acuna went for forty nine dollars. So the price was a little bit 
suppressed because of this news that came out. But you're Too right. It, it might be closer to like that $50 range rather than the, the $60 range that some people were spending on Ronald Acuna before. For more mm. extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we'll be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> 